Hi, my name is Richard Dezerga from the Microsoft Technology Center in Dallas, and in this video we're going to look at six techniques to really elevate your PowerPoint presentations using touch. Now I happen to be standing in front of an 82 inch Microsoft Perceptive Pixel display. And when it comes to touch experiences, it's really hard to beat this screen. This can take almost as many points of touch as I can throw at it. So it's going to be great to use this to illustrate the techniques we're going to use to make better presentations. So the six techniques we're going to use are zoom in, zoom out, navigation links, trigger animations, business intelligence, office extensibility, and inking. Let's take a look. So I'm here in my presentation, and we've added a number of things to PowerPoint to make a better touch experience. So even things as simple as just swiping to go from slide to slide, I can do those things. But now with touch, I can start to make PowerPoint much more nonlinear. So imagine here I have a number of, you know, a slide with all my team members. If I wanted to go look at maybe a profile page for each team member, I can simply click on one of their pictures, and that actually navigates to their slide. Now, all the team member slides might be in the back of my deck in like an appendix. It really doesn't matter with navigation links because I can jump around anywhere I want. And I can simply click on another navigation link to take me back to the start. So again, navigate to someone's slide and then be able to navigate back. So that's the concept of using navigation links to have a nonlinear presentation. Another technique we can use to have a nonlinear presentation is using zoom out. So imagine I'm presenting and someone has a question that I have a great slide for later in my deck. Well in the past what you might do is fast forward to that slide showing the users every slide in between. Well here I can simply zoom out and jump to the specific slide that I want to go to. So zoom out is a great way again with touch to make a great nonlinear presentation. I can also zoom in on these slides, so if I wanted to go and look at something in more detail, I can do that as well. So both zoom in, zoom out, both have great uses with a touch presentation. The next technique we're going to take a look at is trigger animations. So with navigation links, I was actually going to a separate slide. With trigger animations, I'm actually going to stay on the same slide, but I'm going to be able to toggle things on and off using animations. So imagine this slide here, very busy, lots of things going on, it's all the MTC locations worldwide. But if I wanted to maybe reduce some of this noise, I can use a trigger animation to simply go and dis make things disappear. So I, again, that was just an animation, but it was triggered by clicking the background of this image. Now I can do additional trigger animations within here. So maybe if I wanted to make a specific location show up like Dallas, or maybe if this is Dublin, or Dubai, I can simply click on those locations. So again, that's the concept of doing these trigger animations. Now what's cool is it's great when you combine them. So I've done a bunch of trigger animations, but I can also do navigation links. So imagine again, if I had a profile page for every MTC location, I could simply click on the location and go to the slide about that. So this slide is going to talk a little bit about using business intelligence and some of the office extensibility things to make a great presentation. So we've added a bunch of things to our BI stack to do great presentations with BI. So for instance, Power View, I can go and create these really rich animated dashboards that I can then embed in my PowerPoint presentation and all of the interactivity of that dashboard works. So what I thought I'd do is another neat example. This is a research project that uses gesture-based business intelligence. What you're seeing here is actually just a web page in our PowerPoint presentation. And that's really the model that we're doing with Office Extensibility, is extending Office just with web content. And that makes it very, very easy to find developers and also for something that's not going to like break your system, because it's just a browser control here. Now what's cool is I can do some really interactive things with touch in my presentations with something like this. So if I wanted to analyze maybe um, some of the MTC metrics, I could go take a look at the different types of engagements we do, and maybe I want to take a look at ADSs and maybe strategy briefings, and maybe look at those in more detail. So possibly analyze those across different months. I can simply drag my month out here, and you can see that it starts breaking that down. What's cool is now I can introduce some gestures. So if I wanted to see this as maybe a bar chart, I can simply draw a bar on here, and you can see that it, it change that to a bar chart. Again, 
bar chart. Now, if I want to look at the two data on top of each other, I can simply bring the data and drop it, and now I have a consolidated view of all my engagement types by the different months of the year. So great way, again, we can use these techniques inside of our PowerPoint presentations to do some really cool things. So the next thing I want to talk about is doing inking. So here I'm on a, a slide that just shows the layout of the MTC. Again, I could zoom in. This is where we're at in the Interactive Center. But one of the cool things I might want to do with something like this is start inking on the slide to be able to show different things. So for instance, I'll click over here and start inking. And I could say, well, we happen to be in the Interactive Center, which is right here. Um, here's our restrooms. And if you needed to get to those, there's kind of two ways you could go about it. Um, if we had a fire drill or something, we could go out the back door. So you can see that there's all kinds of different ways where inking can make a great experience. The next thing I want to show you is how we might combine some of these. So here was inking. Now imagine I do something like this with trigger animation. So this is the same slide. I've just added a few simple trigger animations to where I can say, well, let me go and just click on a button that shows the restrooms that shows where catering's at, maybe shows where our envisioning center is. And I can, I can bring some of those elements onto my slide, but then add inking on top of it. And again, this is very animated. I can click on something and make it go away. So you can see how doing inking with something like the animations can really provide a great presentation experience. So hopefully these six, six techniques that we looked at, we looked at doing zoom in, zoom out, navigation links, trigger animations, business intelligence, office extensibility, and then finally inking can make a fantastic presentation, really take your presentations to the next level.